Hello and welcome to the Tarkas Zone. Thank you for joining me. I uh, wanted to do this quick video uh, to tell people that uh, the beer production is doing uh, will do good for you in this game, uh, especially if you're a newer player. I uh, had a, a person message me and say to me that you know I see you get a lot of contribution points. How did you get them? Well, I did a lot of beer production. I mean, you can do the Calfion quests every day, especially when you're just starting off. And I've got a video. I actually have two videos about the Calfion uh, quests that you can do. And it maybe take you, I think there's some videos that you can see people doing it in 15 minutes. I think once you get it down under your belt, you can do the, um, the Calfion quest probably under seven minutes, uh, especially uh, if you know what you're doing. So there's a, a there's a, quest chain that you can do every day uh, that allows you to uh, bank up some contribution points. That is an excellent way to gain contribution points in this game. Now, you know, there are other quests throughout the world, but when you're looking at trying to do the most effective way of contribution gains, I mean, doing the quests, if you have time, uh, if you can be at your keyboard, is a, is a good way of doing it. But if you can't be really at your keyboard and you want to you know, try to get a leg up on this game, especially if you're just starting out, um, then beer production is the way to go. And what I ended up doing is just getting these be Bellinos trading cooking uh, utensils. They will allow you to process 2,500, like I've got wheat queued up, I believe. Uh, let me see here. We got, uh, yeah. So basically one of these utensils will let you process 2,500 wheat per utensil. So that's pretty good. I, I did an older video um, about creating your own cooking utensil, but again, if you have limited time and you don't really have that much resources into creating a workshop to make you the advanced cooking utensils or cooking station, then the one that you can buy from the vendor, the, the nicer one, uh, seems to work very well. I can get 2,500 um, items through it before it, it depletes. And I'm using the beer, and really, the beer, to me, is just ways to fuel my worker empire. And I'm just going to quickly touch about the plywood that people seem to be going sebastic about that I've been selling my plywood. People got to realize that the video that I created, the 5 billion video, was just me saying, I hit 5 billion silver, and I haven't played the game in two months. And I dumped the plywood because it really, I wasn't doing anything with it. And I had no intention of, of doing any trading anytime soon. So I figured, well, I might as well get rid of it. Now, I will say that there are ways that you can make money using plywoods in this game. Especially if you create the ply, pro, process supply your, your plywood yourself, you get higher procs. But with me, I was trying to level a worker. So I was having that worker make me plywood because I'm trying to level the worker. And what I do is I try to level the worker all the way up to uh, artisans, and then I end up selling them, and then I'll level another worker up to uh, artisan and end up selling it. And I was just happened to do you have that guy doing my plywoods for me because, again, I wasn't really using the plywoods for anything. So for all some of these rage trolls that were about that, they didn't see the reason for that. And in my video, I didn't say you should go sell your plywood. I was just saying that it does sell if you need some quick money and you want to dump it. Now, some people were doing the numbers saying that you're not making any money doing that. If you have a worker make plywood, you ain't making any money. Well, the only money I'm invested into it is my beer. And as you can see, I'm making a bunch of beer. And so really I gotta pay the beer, right, to the worker to make me that plywood. But in the end, I'm selling that worker. So he's gonna make me money at the back end, plus whatever profits, because you will make some profit on just selling the, pro, uh, the plywood outright. But again, if you wanna make trading crates with it and slap tr crates around the world, you know, I have nothing against that. But if for those people that came onto my channel really trolling, they've never watched any of my videos knowing that Tarkus does no trading. And I haven't done any trading in this game. I don't like trading in this game. I did a lot of trading in Arc Age, and I kind of got burnt out with it. And I will move items through the mail system. I just did a video on that. It's things that are easy. I mean, again, you know, my my channel or my reference for the five billion wasn't saying, guys, this is my only way I make money. And some people really took offense saying, well, you'd make this much money, you make this much. And I agree with them. There's no, but they needed to be polite about it. 
they, there was no politeness with some of these people saying that it was almost like I kicked them in the nuts and they thought I was saying, thinking that they were stupid for making crates and, 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 and doing trading and whatnot. Plywood in my thing is just a nuisance item that I use to, to level workers because I make money in this game doing so many any other things then plywood's at the back end of my mind. And I know you can make some money doing trading, and I'm not disagreeing with that. But the thing about the, how robust this game is, is that nothing is an end-all. Just because Tarkus decides to do his, sell his plywood at the least amount of profit margin doesn't mean that Tarkus isn't making a boatload of money doing something else. So those people that wanted to judge me and troll me, you got to take into account that you're not thinking about all the variables in this game, especially if that worker is good at doing workshop items and he gets that chance where he can return items, you're doing very better too. And really what I was doing with the wood, when I get wood in my inventory, it's just about me grinding my processing levels. I mean, every once in a while I'll put a thousand wood, you know, lumber in my inventory and process it. But it's, I've never really viewed it as an end-all to, to make a bunch of money in this game. Uh, there's other things, and if again, if you took any time to watch my videos on my YouTube channel, you'll find that, you know, I have other ways to make money. But with that said, we're back at this... Uh, making the beer and the thing about making beer in this game, especially if you're new m Making beer is going to uh, allow you to uh, pay your workers That's how you pay your workers in this game once you buy them or once you've hired them They're yours forever unless you want to sell them and beer is your way of paying for what they do for you And so if you can make your own then that saves you uh, from uh, from actually having to buy it on the auction house and that becomes a, uh, a cost expense to you. Now making your own uh, beer is going to take some time but it, again it's an AFK processing time. If you can process 2500 wheat at a time that means you can go watch a movie and have this done. The thing about the importance of making beer in this game is really this dish right here, this poorly prepared dish and this goes back to me talking about contribution point gains. Uh, when you do the Calfion quests, you get contribution uh, experience. Well, the same thing with turning these dishes in, these, these poorly prepared ingredients. Uh, you, you're going to find that when you turn those in, you're going to be able to get contribution experience. That will allow you to get contribution points. Now, the higher your contribution points, like my contribution points are 285, the higher your number, the curve is, is more, meaning that maybe at level, let's say you've got five contribution points, and if you turned in these 84 dishes, you'd probably end up getting like 15 points, uh, you know, towards your total. Well, when you're at 285, they've curved it. They've actually caused it so that you need a lot more. So I might be able to turn those 85 dishes in and not even get close to getting into the level for the next to the 286 that I need. So you got to take that into account too. But you definitely want to... Uh, you want to make your own beer. I would recommend it if you have the time. And what I've done here, I've actually just got this one residence next to the marketplace here in Heidel that I just picked up. So it allows me to, instead of walking to my furnished house and having to worry about placement of my stations, I just got this one point contribution house so that I can do my, do my, uh, my cooking and my, my beer production. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to really talk about. So if you're if you're starting out in this game, making your own beer, I think is a smart thing to start doing. Uh, and then as you get contribution points, well, that's what's nice about it. As you get contribution points, so the poorly prepared dish gets you the contribution points you need. You get the contribution points, and then you can get more workers. Those workers can go out and get you more items, and it just starts the income starts to compound because at that point it becomes passive income. Because even if let's say instead of you know instead of me making plywoods at all with or anything with my wood, I could just take the wood itself, the raw component, slap that on the marketplace, or just walk it over to the vendor. That's my opinion of it. You know, that does not make me stupid because I decide I w there's one item that I don't view as important as other items in this game. And it all comes down to how you view the game and how much time you've got to invest in the game. Me, I only invest about 20 minutes into this game a day, maybe, in the summertime. 
maybe more in the winter time. But for 20 minutes a day, and it's been only a few days since I did my last video, so I'm going to hit uh, M here. And I haven't sold any plywoods, and so I haven't sold any more plywoods because of the grief. It seems that it, bug, it bugged people that I sold plywood. I'm at 163 million that I've I've made in less than three days playing 20 minutes a day, and I haven't sold any plywood. So that tells you that I'm not reliant on the plywood to make money in this game. When you can make 163 million uh, silver in three freaking days without really playing. That's my point. So, again, I'm trying to be helpful, but I I don't like being disrespected. Uh, so, for those people who do enjoy my videos, I thank you for subscribing, and I uh, hope to see you in the game. This has been the Tarkus Zone.